Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. Today we're going to be mixing up some a more safer alternative weed killer that I see a lot of people around have used. They say it works. We're going to try it here in the Midwest. We're going to see if it works. It's a sunny day. It's uh, the dew is about off the weeds and I'm going to be basically spraying in my pathways in my gardens um, because this combination is vinegar, Epsom salt, and Dawn dish soap. And I don't know how that will do with our soil long term, but I think it's much, I'm probably not going to use it that much. No, it's a better alternative uh, than Roundup or any other weed killers you might be using in your gardens, especially, you know, your edible gardens. Um, like I said, I'm going to be sp spraying mine in my pathways. I got a lot of weeds. I'm going to be showing you, and we're going to be mixing it up. And let's get started, all right? Okay. First, I'm going to be putting the vinegar in. It calls for one gallon. Now, you can make up your own mixture. I cleaned out the sprayer really well. And I have to say that I would make sure you rinse this out really good once you're done. Because, you know, I think this combination could probably eat away at your sprayer. So, one gallon of vinegar. And this is a 5% vinegar. Okay, and then it says two cups of Epsom salt, which I got a pound here. It equals out to be about the same. Put it in. And then one fourth cup of Dawn dish soap. And do that. Now, I think I will have to Shake this a little bit and make sure it's mixed real well with the salt. Okay, again, it's one gallon of vinegar. One gallon of vinegar. It's two cups of Epsom salt and one fourth cup of Dawn dish soap. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna put this on. I hope this works. It'll be a really great alternative to what I have been using. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the gardens. So as you guys can see, I got a lot of weeds here. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a lot of them. And I'm just going to get spraying now. I really hope this works. I've had a lot of people tell me it does. You do not want to get these on plants, though, that you, the plants that you like, you want to keep, right? Make sure you uh, be careful of that. And we'll show you in a couple days how it's doing. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Again, you want to make sure you shake this up. Get that salt all mixed around. Process, you're going to want to clean your sprayer out now at this point and just because that vinegar and salt might really eat away at your sprayer take it and clean it up I'm going to put a little bit of water in there rinse it out and then we're going to put some more water in there and then uh, so we can get it out of this spraying area here get all I'll go ahead and put them in now and then try to get that worked out a little bit. And you know, that was a really nice, pleasant scent. I really, I really hope it works. And like anything, I think sometimes it might take a couple applications, so, which would be fine. Let's put that on and then 
going to try to get it out of the wand area. And the tubing here. And just get it out of there. Take and spray it on through. Just do that for a little while. Let it run through. And just finish rinsing it out. Pretty simple, huh? It's only been a few hours. And I'm already starting to see they look like it they've been burned all the way down there. The grass even, but I don't know if it's gonna kill the grass part. But as you can see, everything's turning. It's turning kind of a gray color. I definitely gonna try to get some more of this stuff. I didn't have near enough to put on. One gallon doesn't go very far out here. As you can see. So we'll just kind of watch it. This has only been a few hours. It's got kind of a gray cast to the grass and the, the weeds. We'll see how it goes. And it's really warm and sunny today, and that really helps, too. Hi, everyone. It's been well over a week and since I sprayed this with uh, vinegar, Epsom salt, and Dawn dish soap. And look at it. Does it look like it worked? Now, I have to say that it did kill a few weeds and grass. But I don't know. From my experience here, it didn't do very well. Now I wanted to really give this a chance because I want to go more on the organic side, a little more safer practices in the garden, but I just want to say that not everything works for everybody. Um, I did spray it on a hot day, uh, I, I did see some kill, but look what's going on here now. I'm going to give it a second application, I'm going to try this one more time, and I'm also going to make sure that the mix, the salt is mixed in really well, that it is dissolved, okay? I believe I did last time, but you know, there were spots that were burned off and then there were spots that weren't. So I don't know what happened with that. But as you can see, it's, it's weedy and grassy. And like I said, it killed a little bit, but it's not 100% and I didn't really think it would be, but I just wanted to share this video because I know a lot of people have big claims of this and that online, but if you don't try it yourself, you never know, you're never going to know if it's going to work. So we're going to do another one. I'm going to show you what it, the results in a few days, and then I'll let you know. All right, another round. Here we go. Uh, we'll just see how it, how it burns them off this time. I'm going to let this solution set for just a little bit in the sprayer. Let that salt dissolve, and then shake it up real good and see if that helps. To me, the, the, the grass and the weeds have grown, looks like they've grown a lot. It almost looks like they like, they love the solution. Like I said, we all have different results and it's a hot, humid day today and I'm just gonna do it again. I wanna give it one more chance, but I have to, we have to be realistic sometimes. I have a ton of weeds out here and a lot of grass and, and things that I need to clean up and if this doesn't work, then I'm not going to spend the money on it to, you know, to continue the use. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the stuff I've been just doing, using my, I've been using my Stirapol just to try to do a lot of the weeding on my own this year. But honestly, I can't really keep up. The rain, we have been getting a lot of rain in our area. Sometimes you just have to try a few different things and use what works. Be as safe as you can about your spraying and... Like I said, I'll let you know in a couple days on this. All right, look at this, guys. Few, this is late afternoon, same day. I don't know if it's going to kill it, but look at how they are all turning white. The grass and the weeds. I just think they need more of an application. I think you need to spray them thoroughly. I might not have on the first one, the first spray. I might not have sprayed them thoroughly. But then I go down here, and these look like I didn't get enough coverage on them. 
are here. So I don't know, you know, uh, it's definitely worth it if you want to stay away from the synthetics. The, th the synthetic uh, weed killer works. I mean, I, it always kills the weeds in a few days to a week. Uh, we'll see how this does in a couple days. See how many it burns off. But it looks to me like it's not going to, it may not completely kill the plant. But we'll check it maybe next week sometime and I'll update. Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. This is about a week update, almost a week later update on the safer alternative weed spray. And as you can see, it killed a few things, but did not kill everything. Was it because of our weather, the heat, the rain? I don't know, but I've, this, like I said, this was two applications. It looked like it was really going to cook them uh, the, after, after I sprayed them, as I showed you in the video. But then as it, the days went on and we've got rain and, you know, and they look like they're just growing like crazy again. So maybe it's the maturity of the grasses and the weeds that won't kill. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you got any su suggestions or anything on this alternative spray we're using and you know like I said it did kill some of it it did but there's way too much here left that I can't say that it's beneficial to me you know to use you know I was really hoping for more I would think maybe in a dry season if it's really dry out uh, hot and dry it may work better you know I don't know but I gave it a chance you know I tested it a couple times and as you can see, I still got plenty of mess here. Uh, it didn't kill the purslane. And I know some people like purslane, but we got it really thick around here. And it just spreads like crazy. So I like to get rid of it. But the grasses, um, you know, they got burnt. Some of them got burnt, but they did, it didn't kill them. So, and there's even some smaller grass in there. You know, I just, I don't know what to think about it. So I just wanted to do this video because... Everybody raves about it, but does it work, you know? And for me, uh, on this patch here, I'm not saying it worked very well. You know, I left this patch and I did it twice. Uh, it killed a few things, but it didn't take it out. And you know, this was quite a patch here, as you can see. So I'm gonna go back to my other spray that I always use. Um, it's just on my paths. I'm gonna try to do as much hand weeding as I can, but honestly, to keep up with it, Sometimes you have to just go to other sprays uh, or do it by hand. So I hope that's helped in some way today. I wouldn't be afraid to try it in your area. I think it might depend on the maturity of the weeds and the grasses, the heat, the cool weather, et cetera, et cetera, and your coverage. Make sure you cover them really well with uh, vinegar, Epsom salt, and soap solution. I noticed I, if I covered them heavier, uh, it seemed to help. So, but like I said, it didn't take them out. So I just thought I would share this video with you guys. And if you got any suggestions, thoughts, you know, have you tried this? Uh, have you tried this recipe before and has it worked for you? So we'll talk to you later, you guys. Take care and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.